Hi, West Bay Bengals. Uh, it's been a while since we've been in the art room together, and so I wanted to take a little bit of time to uh, post a video for you to draw along with me uh, if you're looking for something extra and fun to do. Since spring is already here and we have a holiday coming up, I thought it'd be really fun to draw a couple of pots full of flowers. So if you're interested, grab a piece of paper and a pencil. I'm gonna be drawing with a Sharpie so you can see better, but go ahead and draw with a pencil first and you can always come back and trace with a marker. Here we go. All right, I'm gonna start with my paper, long or horizontal, and right in the middle of our paper, I'm gonna draw three skinny rectangles. I'm gonna start with one here in the center. And I'm gonna repeat that shape two more times. These are gonna be planter pots. And so underneath each triangle, I'm gonna draw two diagonal lines that are going inward, just like the planters you might see at your house or at the store. To finish off our planters, I'm gonna go ahead and draw a line connecting those two diagonal lines. This is gonna be the bottom of our planter. As we know, we need to add a horizon line in the background. Maybe this is our ground line if our pots are outside. It could also be the line of the table that our pots are standing on. And we never draw that line underneath or below our plants. Then it's gonna look like our pots are floating. I'm gonna go ahead and put them right behind these pots here. One way to ensure that this is a nice straight line is to draw it really lightly with your pencil. Draw it all the way across it, and then you can just erase inside of uh, the planters themselves. In our first planter, I'm gonna draw three daisies. So I'm gonna start here with a circle here, a circle here, and a circle here. Then I'm going to add my petals. Next, I'm going to add stems coming from the petal or from the flower to the pot. And when I draw this, I actually want to draw two lines. One, two, one, two, one, two. The reason why I want to draw two lines is that when I come back to color this, I'll have a space to color inside. It'd be hard to color a green stem in a space that's already been traced black that's not a shape. Now I've created a shape that is easy to color in. And from there, I can add leaves. I'm gonna draw a line with a smile and a rainbow. I'm gonna add another one here. Remember, rainbow, smile, and another one here. Smile, rainbow. I've now completed my first pot. In my second pot, I'm gonna draw some tulips. And so to get started, I'm going to draw a raindrop here. I'm going to draw a raindrop here. And I'm going to draw a raindrop here. On the sides of my raindrops, I'm gonna add two diagonal lines, just like that. If you look carefully, those diagonal lines, they're not coming from the top, they're coming from the side, and so we almost get this W shape here at the top. So be careful that they're not coming right from the top. What we're creating is one front petal and two side petals, um, and so by putting them down, it looks like they're overlapping just a little bit. And then I'm gonna draw a J and a backwards J on each side.
Once again, I'm going to add three stems using two lines for each. Tulips tend to have really long, skinny leaves, so I'm going to draw a long, skinny leaf in these empty spaces here. For our last pot, we're going to draw um, another kind of flower. This is a kind of flower that I used to see a lot in my mom's garden when I was growing up. I don't exactly know the name of it, but it's kind of a fun um, flower. And it reminded me of grapes because the flowers were purple and they all kind of grew in clumps. And so I'm going to start by just adding a little flower like this up at top. And then I'm going to add two flowers down below like that. I'm going to add two more flowers. And look, my line's just kind of like this curvy, bumpy line. And it's slowly getting wider as I work my way down. One way that you could ensure this shape for yourself is if you kind of drew a very skinny, long triangle first with your pencil that you could erase later. That would help with the shape that you're about to create. And if you know the name of this flower, you should, you know, leave it in the comments for me so we know what the name of that flower is. And once again, I'm just going to leave a little stem here, and then I'm going to fill the background with petals using smiles and rainbows. When you're done drawing these three pots of flowers, you can come back, color them in. If you're one of my older students, you could decide where your light source is and create shadows and highlights based on your light source. If you finish one of these projects, please send me uh, a picture uh, to my email and I will try to post this on my Instagram stories. Good luck creating and have fun.